So in this video, we're going to talk about the Soil Data Explorer. And so since this is step three in our progress, uh, you're going to go from the soil map over to the Soil Data Explorer. And once it goes over, you can see that there's a whole bunch of categories over here on the left of different information that you can use. So let's say you're a builder and you want to know what is available to you. You can see, oh. All right, um, in this area of Thatcher, Arizona, um, are there some places with or without basements? Let, let's, let's see what's available to us here. So I'm going to click on those double down arrows over on the left. And then I'm going to view the rating over here. You can also view the, the description if you'd like. We'll click on that first. It gives you a little bit of uh, uh, technical information on that. So, but basically, um, is the area suitable for, for having a basement in a house? And you can see uh, this area actually is not very suitable. You have to move up on this area that's kind of the benches over here in order to have basements. And the reason for that is that this is a floodplain or a flood area that floods um, to some level. And so it is not a very good place for, for uh, basements. So all of those red areas. So that's really good information. So if you're building a house, you know that. What about having a solar array? Okay, um, is it soil based? Okay, let's see if it's, look at some of these soil based informations. I'm gonna click view rating. And yeah, we can have a solar array up here. It's a little, um, a little more iffy, okay, based on the soil. Um, so, and you can, again, create a printable version if you'd like. I'm gonna add this to my shopping cart. So they have that information and I am going to click OK. And I wanted that basement thing and I forgot to download it. So I'm going to go back to the basements, do view rating. And I'm going to add that also to my shopping cart. Okay, what about land classifications? So if you're not familiar with different land classifications, um, it lets you know uh, if there's any specific information going on. Irrigated, irrigated uh, capability class, let's just click on that. This area actually has quite a bit of irrigation going on in it, around it. And so let's just do a really quick overview on that one. And you can see that um, some areas around the area have uh, irrigation, uh, flood irrigation going on. So there's a bunch of creeks that go through here that allow for flood irrigation. This one right here is actually an irrigation creek. You can see that little blue line right in there. Um, and so some properties still have opportunities for irrigation going on as, as well. So we're going to add that to our shopping list as well. And I'll click OK. And again, with all of these, you can click view, view description and it'll give you a little bit more information. Okay. Um, here's recreational development. How about picnic areas, right? Okay. Let's go with that and view rating. Woo. There we go. All of this area is pretty good for a, a picnic. So you can add that to the cart and again uh, if we were spending more time on this uh, you would want to look at the descriptions and and understand them a little bit better uh, off-road recreations available stuff like that uh, okay so Uh, those are all different uh, things we could do. In the next video, you're going to look at downloading soil data. And so I'd encourage you to watch the next video. Have a great day.